Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Dr. Carl Dietrich, the owner, founder, creator of Terrafusia. Boy, it's so good to finally meet you. It's a pleasure to be here. We've interviewed the aero car people, the first air, sort of flying car. Mm -hmm. Tell us the difference between the aero car and your car. Well, Terrafuji's transition is really the first vehicle that actually meets Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards that's also capable of flying like an aircraft. Um, it converts between flying and driving modes in under a minute, which is also something that distinguishes it from the aero car and sort of the heritage of previous flat car attempts. In 2004, the FAA did something very significant. They created a new category of aircraft called light sport aircraft and a new type of pilot's license called the Sport Pilot Certificate. That new pilot's license takes less time and less money to get, and the new category of aircraft allows you to bring a product to market for less money, so potentially providing a higher return for investors. And it doesn't have to be under a certain weight or something? Exactly. Yes, it does. It has to be uh, generally less than 1,320 pounds gross weight. We've gotten a special allowance because of all the safety features we have in here to allow us up to 1,430 pounds gross weight. And the safety features would be for driving, not for flying. Absolutely. Well, they work for both. Um, but we have, in this vehicle, we have a, a safety cage around the occupants made of carbon fiber. Up in the front, there's a crumple zone uh, in the front that is made of aluminum and is designed to meet actual crash test standards. So they, this is a very exciting thing that we're bringing to the market, and we think it has the potential to significantly reduce the fatality rate of general aviation aircraft. There are certain classes of airfields that you can land at. You can't land at the big airports. There are about 5,200 public-use airports around the United States. There's one on average within a half-hour drive of wherever you are. It's just most people don't know about them because they're not used very much by the general public. You have more interest also in the Middle East and in Australia. There's quite a bit of interest actually all around the world. It's really exciting to see. Our core market is still in the United States. The United States represents over 50% of the market for general aviation aircraft today, but that's changing. As uh, Chinese airspace is starting to open up, um, India is investing in more airport infrastructure, there's a lot of investment going on in the developing world, which I think has the potential to expand general aviation in the long run, particularly if we can provide a vehicle that could reduce the need for investing in major superhighways. How much is the transition? The anticipated base price is $279,000. And when you actually were producing this, how much federal money did you receive? Zero dollars. <laughs> you must this is entirely privately financed. Very good. All right, Dr. Dietrich, thank you very much. Thank you.